So I'm here today in St. Petersburg, Florida, and what has become arguably one of the hottest relocation destinations in the entire United States, and most certainly the state of Florida. And over the last six years, this city has become extremely popular. For years, if not decades, St. Petersburg was really known as a retirement community for those who were unaware. The locals knew better, but recently it has been found out and there have been thousands of people flocking here to the greater Tampa Bay area and most notably St. Petersburg, Florida. You've got incredible art, entertainment, dining, nightlife, outdoor activities, amenities, farmers markets, and sports all at your fingertips and within walking distance in a lot of neighborhoods. And it has attracted a lot of young professionals and a lot of families to the area, as well as those retirees who've been coming here for literally decades. And today we're gonna to explore this beautiful city and find out why so many people are moving to St. Petersburg, Florida and why you might wanna consider it as well. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed realtor here with the True Living Group where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest all over the greater Tampa Bay area and another reason I'm so excited to share this with you today is because me and my family have fallen in love with this city. Kate and I love to grab the kids drive the 30 minutes to downtown St. Pete come and eat and drink and just enjoy the day. We'll go to the farmer's market go over to one of our favorite burger bars Engine 9 which is absolutely incredible that's a whole nother conversation but St. Pete is a vibe and we really enjoy our time here you know come down and go to the local record shop Kate and I will. We'll bring the kids down and come to the park you can go to a Rays game you can go to a Rowdy's game. There are so many different amenities and activities you can plug into that it is almost impossible to be bored when you live here in St. Pete. And I am so excited to share this with you guys because this city has really stolen our heart. And I think if you come and spend any time here, it might do the same to you. All right, the storms got a little bit crazy, so I had to jump in the home office here. But I wanted to discuss with you, maybe you're not familiar with St. Petersburg, and I just wanted to give you a little ideal about location here. St. Pete is a region. It makes up St. Petersburg, the city of it and St. Pete Beach. It's about 25 minutes to Tampa International Airport, about 25 minutes to downtown Tampa. You can make it to South Tampa in 15 minutes and it really depends on traffic. There are going to be days when it takes longer, so be aware of that. Traffic can be heavy. There are over 260,000 residents in the city of St. Petersburg and it doesn't just make up the downtown area, right? It, it's roughly 15 to 20 percent of the entire Pinellas County region there and it makes up the greater Tampa Bay, St. Pete, Clear water area there. Beautiful area. It's at the southern tip of Pinellas County. You can jump on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, go down to Bradenton, Sarasota, that area also. It's beautiful. It's one of the oldest cities and it's one of the first established in the Tampa Bay area and it's just absolutely stunning. It is a vibe like I said before, but I wanted to make sure you had some insights on where it's located. Now, the next thing I want to share with you guys is the lifestyle. St. Pete is extremely walkable. You've got Central Avenue that is full of restaurant shops, bars, boutiques for almost 30 blocks. And you have First Avenue North and First Avenue South that also contribute to that. There are bars, restaurants, breweries, everything on both sides of those also. The downtown area really goes from the bay, so right in the marina there where St. Pete is on Beach Boulevard, and it makes up about the first eight blocks of the city there. The Central Avenue, Avenue, First Avenue North and First Avenue South, that's where a majority of the commerce, restaurants, commercial buildings, all that's kind of taking place in that area there. Now, as you travel further west down Central Avenue towards the beaches and on the Gulf Coast there, you get into the different districts. There are five unique districts in, in St. Petersburg. My wife and I, we love to have a date night. We've rented a room at the Ponce de Leon Hotel, which is right downtown St. Pete and walked all the way down the 30th Avenue, you know, enjoying the night, you know, dancing and eating and having some adult beverages and doing the thing and then walking all the way back. And it was so much fun. There are dog bars, literally bars where you can take your dogs to go hang out. What a cool spot. Art, you know, there's all kinds of different things you can plug into. We've got the world-class museums and the Dolly Museum, the marina, if you're a boater, St. Pete Pier, there's just a lot of different things you can do with lifestyle when it comes to living in St. Pete. And this is a huge part of the reason why people love living here. Now the next question really becomes, Juan, what does it cost to live in St. Pete? And it's a great question. And just like most coastal regions in the United States, you can get 
in on the cheap end and you can also spend a ton of money and i mean multi-million dollars whether you really desire luxury living i mean there are seven new condo developments being built right now some of them have penthouses as much as five six million dollars that you can purchase you know some of them start in that six to eight hundred range you know and that's not cheap but that's the reality of living on the gulf coast 400 central for example is going to be the tallest building in st pete for sure and i believe on the west coast of florida at five 515 feet and those bad boys are up in that five million dollar range starting at right around two million now the median single family home price in the last 30 days in st petersburg florida is right around four hundred and fourteen thousand dollars, and that's for a three bedroom two bath approximately 1300 square foot home now a few of my favorite neighborhoods and what you people might say are some of the most desirable are areas like historic northeast there haven't been a whole lot of homes that have sold in the last 30 days but there were two and if you wanted one of those the average price there was 1.6 million so that was not cheap if you're going to move in the historic northeast it's going to be about a million dollars just to get started and the reason that this is so desirable is it's just north of downtown it's literally within walking distance or short bike ride you also have access to the bay there's the north shore aquatic center over there you got stroud park you can walk from that park all the way down to the pier it is an incredible neighborhood if i was going to move to st pete this would be my ideal world that's the you know the reality of it the second neighborhood that you might want to consider is Historic Kenwood. Now, this is at the furthest west end of the Grand Central District down there. Now, the median family home that has sold there over the last 30 days with a four bedroom, three bath, 2,300 square foot, and that one came in right around $876,000. You can find them starting in the 500s. They're going to be a lot smaller, like 1,300 square foot bungalow or old craftsman style home. But this neighborhood is awesome too. Just like the Historic Northeast, there's a lot of pride in living in Historic Kenwood. People put flags of their neighborhoods in St. Pete. It's very interesting. But this is another one of those communities being so close, you know, to Central Avenue where you can walk out of your front door and then be at a coffee shop or a restaurant. You can go over to Casitas, which is one of our favorite taco shops in all of Tampa Bay, literally in minutes. So it's a really, really cool spot. It's another vibey atmosphere. And again, one of those neighborhoods that people just really want to call home and highly desired. And the last one on this list is Snell Island. Now, there haven't been any recent home sales here, but this community is just north of the historic Northeast neighborhood, and it is also a peninsula on a peninsula in the ocean. And this neighborhood has a lot of boating access. You know, you can buy a property that gives you the ability to put a dock in and put your boat there. It's not inexpensive. I mean, again, nothing has even sold in the last 60 days over there. And if it did, you're looking at multi-millions of dollars. This is one of those communities. A piece of dirt recently sold near there and it was almost five million bucks. There are many more neighborhoods in St. Petersburg. They're not all multi-millions. It's a large city, over 260,000 residents. We're so close to the beaches, y'all. If you're going to drive from downtown St. Pete over to St. Pete Beach, it's literally a 20 or 18 minute drive. Depending on the traffic, you can go over to Madeira Beach or Johns Pass, an excellent place to call home. Another reason people love calling St. Pete home is its walkability. You know, the streets here are made for you and I to get out and just really take in everything this city has to offer. Right now I'm walking in front of the uh, shops at Sundial here. You know, you got a Ruth Chris on the corner, all the, the normal things you would find in any high-end shopping center. And then you've got the bay, of course, right at the end of the street here. And I absolutely love coming down here, y'all. There's a little uh, breakfast restaurant we love to go down here called the Wooden Rooster. Phenomenal, if you ever get a chance to stop in there, it's wonderful. And all the shops, the dining, you know, the boutiques, you got blocks and blocks of this down in downtown St. Pete, but you know, this goes on for roughly 30 blocks and you can plug into little districts we have along the way. We'll get deeper into that in another video. I've gone on the rabbit hole of the districts before, but I just love sharing this city with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it today. And if you are considering moving to St. Pete or anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, feel free to reach out to me and my team. We'd be honored to serve you and all of your real estate needs. I'll put all my contact information down below, including a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is best for you. And as always, go out and live that Tampa life.